Good morning. How you guys doing? This Mike back again with the thought of the day on April 10th, 2023. First, I want to give the honor and praise to Elohim and Israel for waking me up this morning and giving me the strength and the wisdom to bring you this message. And I also like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Today I want to talk about the truth always being in me. The truth always being in me. <clears throat> when I speak of the truth, of course I'm speaking of understanding who I am as a man and who I am as a Bible in the Bible. Understanding that I'm from the, the tribe of Judah and I'm part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, I will have to trace back to my first church experience which was Galilee Baptist Church in Trent, New Jersey but Pastor Harris was the pastor and back then as a teenager the rap music was different it was more conscious rap we had um, Poor Righteous Teachers, X-Clan Brand Nubians um, Public Enemy KRS-One with Boogie Down Productions so of course we were into more of the conscious part of rap so I knew when I was hearing this doctrine at my church as a teenager that something wasn't right. I remember being in this blue Sunday school class and often um, getting in trouble because they said I caused too much disruption. And all I was, was doing was asking questions. I wanted to know why the description of Christ in the Bible did not match the description they had on the pictures on the walls. I also wanted to know why we were living in ghettos and and had the rough life of the inner city where other races didn't have to go through that. I wanted to know why as black people we face so much trials and tribulations and God was so fair and loving, why was we going through the stuff that we was going through? And nobody wanted to answer my questions. They just nubbed it off, called me disruptive, or uh, told me that I was a bad influence on the other kids. So around the time Entertainment album, I believe that Productions came out and they had a song on there called Why Is That? And once I heard that song, when he was talking about the geology and the Shem and breaking down the Israelites in the Bible and saying that we were those people, it immediately clicked with me like, now this makes sense. Um, so we had a talent show in the basement of the church. I did the song in the talent show and it caused problems. Um, because of some of the lyrics and it pointed out that the stuff they was teaching us wasn't right and exact and we were we were learning lies um, the pastor had called the meeting with my mom and told her that I could only come to church and sit with her I couldn't be around any other kids and I couldn't be a part of new auxiliaries like choir, usher, things of that nature so I immediately left and started going to Shallow Church, which was like the uppity church. And then my focus on church, of course, Shallow teachings were even far more prosperity than Galilee. So my focus turned into girls and other things of that nature. But that seed had always been planted in me. Then I went on to college, uh, got into the world, got into alcoholism. You know, that nature so God became a second thought in my mind. Um, but the most high blessed me to pull me through a tragedy I went through and came full circle to two rehabs and then had my spiritual awakening in rehab, as I stated before. And then once I get out of rehab, now I'm trying to find a church. My first stop was Change Church, uh, Pastor uh, Daniels, and just didn't do it for me. The stuff, some of the stuff he was saying, once again, just didn't make sense. Seemed like he was more of a motivational speaker than a pastor. Um, um, one of the things I started learning more about the truth, um, my current wife now was sending me some information on, on edification, trying to edify my life. And one of the pastors she sent me was Pastor Darby. I started listening to some of the stuff he was saying, and it grabbed me because it was about edifying my life, turning my life right, getting better, cutting out all the sin and understanding that I had to get better. 
then I was, I became enthused of, enthused of learning what an Israelite was. Uh, I started researching myself. First, I came up on IUIC, and their unity intrigued me at first. I saw all these brothers that seemed to be together, and they, they seemed unified. But then when I heard their, the way that they spoke to people, and their, seemed like they had anger in their voices when they were street preaching, I told myself I could never see myself talking to people like that. And the spirit automatically told me, no, nah, that's not it. Then she told me, said, this is the church I've been following for years. And then she let me hear um, Elder Ricard and GOCC. And what grabbed me with them was when he was talking about how it's not the other race's fault that we're in the condition that we're in, that we have to turn back to the most high and start living righteous and develop our families the right way. And I said, yeah, this is it right here. And that doctrine grabbed me, and it's the only thing that ever made sense to me. Um, for the first time in my life, I'm at peace because I did the work to get all the anger and frustration and things out of me, and I found my place in the right kind of doctrine that makes sense for me. Now it's just up to me to learn as much as I need to learn and try to be a servant for him and a vessel because that's all I'm truly am. Once I... Uh, had my awakening and I came out and I went to that water and got baptized. The old me died and now I'm just a vessel for him. That's it. That's it. And I'm happy to be just a vessel for him. But looking back at it, all of this was supposed to happen. And like I said, the truth was always in me back then. Nobody just wanted to listen to what I had to say. Um, now I just want to go out and spread the word for him. This is Brother Mike. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Shalom and enjoy your day.